This video is not sponsored by, but features products from Player One Coffee Labs. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Jaquel, the world's worst YouTuber. Today we are starting the Player One Coffee Saga. If you didn't see my introductory video that I put up sometime in the last week, I purchased the starter sampler pack from Player One Coffee that features all four of their signature blends. Today, the first one that we are going to be reviewing and going over is... Leroy! No! Stop it! Stop it! That one's last! Shut up! The one we're going over today is First Person Smoother, the Light Roast. Real quick, before we get started, I just want to go over the point system real quick. It's going to be rated on a scale of 1 to 7, each one of these different roasts, or blends rather. It's going to go over the packaging. Does it look good? Is it appealing to the eye? Yada yada, etc, etc. The scent. I love the scent of coffee. Coffee grounds are some of the best scented things, or some of the worst scented things. What does this coffee smell like? Then we're also going to be going over the flavor. Does it taste good? Is it aromatic? Is it too strong? Is it too light? Yada yada, this, that, the other. Do I like the flavor? And also, does the description hold up? Each one of these comes with a little description on the bottom of it, except for, I think, Leroy Jenkins, all it says is something like, Warning for extreme caffeine addicts only, something like that. It doesn't really give much detail, but each one has, other than that, has its own description. And also, these are broadcasted as being uh, just enough for the perfect pot of coffee. Now, on their website, it said that they were 3.5 ounces. These are 12 ounces, not a complaint, but that makes me wonder, is 12 ounces going to be too much? Was 3.5 ounces the right amount for a pot of coffee? I don't know, we'll find out. So I figured that since I'm not sure, it would be a good idea to go with the light roast to be the first one to try, because that way if it is too much, it's just the light roast. Alright, so first thing up is the packaging. I'll try and get a better shot. Hang on, does it work better without the light? Nope. <laughs> okay, there we go. I had to use my phone. Oh well, here it is. First person smoother. Now what we've got here is it is a purple picture. It says player one coffee for gamers by gamers. And there's a little bit of a, uh, there appears to be three different zombies, and then a hand holding some type of pistol. Makes me think of Call of Duty Zombies. I, t I happen to be a fan of, fan of Call of Duty Zombies. Well, specifically the one from Call of Duty 2. Well, Black Ops 2. So I give this a passing grade. It's appealing. I like the shade of purple on it. It's appealing. And since they're for gamers by gamers, a lot of people are familiar with zombies. And this right here. It has the zombies. It catches your eye. Other gamers are going to be like, hey, cool, zombies. What's this one about? So before I pop this bad boy open and give it a good whiff, Let's read the description on the front. First person smoother, light roast, a Colombian delight, mellow body and seductively nutty flavor that lingers pleasantly in the palate. So when I'm drinking it, I'm going to figure out whether or not that description holds up. I'm going to rip this thing open and by rip this open, I mean I'm going to get a pair of Cutco brand scissors and just take a little bit off the top. Now, for the sniff test. Does it 
is nice and pleasant. So I'm a little biased. My favorite blends of coffee, usually like my go-tos. Hello, Kismet. My cat just um, jumped up on the table. You see her shadow? I'm biased toward Colombian. So I just want to be completely transparent about that. My go-tos are always Colombian blends. So, oh, it definitely smells like a good Colombian. I'm very picky about my Colombian. So far, it definitely smells like a Colombian blend. It definitely has a mellow body. It's potent, but it's not in your face. It doesn't punch you in the sinuses, but it still has a full scent. <sighs> yeah. I definitely give the scent test a passing grade. I'm just dump this bad boy in here. Holy oh, shit, that's a lot. Oh, I guess it's not too bad. Full pot of coffee. Where's a good light source? Hello. We've come back from the void. Anyhow. Before we get to brewing this particular roast of coffee. I want to get a close-up on these grounds. I think this is as good as I'm going to get, maybe. But what I'm seeing is some nicely, finely ground, super finely ground, grounds. There are some whiter spots in there. Otherwise, it just looks like some really good, nice, chocolate brown coffee. And now also, I'm setting it to strong brew. The reason I like the strong brew is because it takes a little extra time. It takes its time to for the hot boiling water to sit there and really pull the flavor out of it. So you get the most flavor from your grounds using the strong brew. And now it's going. And now we wait. Ding. Damn it. Yeah, hello, my buddy. My buddy. Hello, how are you doing? Damn it, why you do this to me? Oh, hi. It's been about ten minutes. And we're halfway there. Kids, don't play with sharp objects. Unless you are a certified dumbass like me. Oh, hey, look! It's finally done. And now, just for the record, I'm going to be using some Italian sweet cream creamer. It's just 
Aldi brand. It's nothing special, nothing. But it does the job. And nothing has changed since my first video. I still need something to lighten it up. Something to uh, add a little bit of sweet. Which is why I go with the Italian sweet cream. It's... I don't need a whole lot. It was made for espresso. So I don't need a whole lot to make it sweeter. And I only use enough, just enough to make it sweeter. And so the creamer isn't overpowering. I'm just going to have to have you to have faith in me that I'm still going to be able to taste the coffee through the creamer. All right. After 45 and a half minutes, let's finally taste this shit. All right. Let's give it a sip. That's pretty good. Good, good Colombian flavor. Um, yeah, it's actually got a lot of extra flavor in there. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie, full of flavor in it. The flavors don't, don't clash, and I feel like there's multiple different flavors in there that are, they're not competing. They actually blend well together, and each flavor has its own distinctive note. My only grievance so far is that it's a little dark for a light roast, but that might just be my fault <laughs> because I put a whole 12 ounce bag in for a pot of coffee and then I decided to use strong brew which pulls all of the flavor out of it. So um, just for the sake of it, for the rest of them I'm going to do it the exact same way but I'm just going to have my own heads up that it might be my fault and it might be a little darker than I was anticipating. Also, let's go down my list. Is it enough or just right for a full pot of coffee? I'm going to say a tentative yes, because it's definitely enough, and I can't tell... Uh, excuse me. I can't tell if it's my fault for putting too much in there, or using the strong brew or what, but... I'm just going to say yes, because it's in the very least enough for a full pot of coffee. Uh, so that's going to get a check mark. That's going to get a plus sign. Um, taste and flavor. The flavor is on point. It's full of flavor. It's full of uh, extra flavor. And like I said, the different notes aren't competing. They blend well together. So I'm going to give that a plus sign. The only thing left is uh, the description. Let's read the description and see if I can identify some of those other flavors. A Colombian delight. Absolutely correct. Very good Colombian. I am not disappointed being a Colombian snob. Mellow body and seductively nutty flavor that lingers pleasantly on the palate. Mellow body. You don't say it's pretty mellow. Now the body is like the texture, the thickness, the density of the coffee to water ratio. So Yeah, I'd definitely say it's a mellow body. It's not thin, by any means. It's not super heavy, not super thick. So, I'll put it right in the middle. Mellow. Lingers pleasantly on the palate. Yes, I just took a sip and I'm still tasting it. Yeah, still there. And it's not uncomfortable. It's not like there'll be some coffees where you take a sip of it and that, ju that flavor just cakes to your tongue. It doesn't matter if you just brush your teeth. It doesn't matter if you brush your teeth five weeks ago. It doesn't matter what kind of hygiene you got. That coffee is going to stick there. And it's going to be gross. This is kind of sticking there. 
But it's not bad. I'm not, it's not unwelcome. Uh, a seductively nutty flavor. It's definitely nutty. Seductive. Am I turned on? Yeah, I'd say I am. I'm a half mast. Does it? Does the description hold up? Absolutely. So, I gave it a rating of one to seven, and I only have five. The other two are going to be my opinion, where it can have a plus minus sign, which means it's equal. It can have a plus plus sign, which means it's absolutely positive, or it can have a minus minus. I don't. I. I I don't know how to explain it, but it's like two thumbs up, one thumbs up, no thumbs up. Just for my own personal opinion. And I think what I'm going to say is I'm going to give it a plus minus, which would bring the score to a six out of seven. Now, the reason I say that is everything is... It, the packaging is great, the scent is phenomenal, uh, taste and flavor on point, but I almost feel like there's too much going on with the different flavors, and it's kind of taking away from it. Like, my brain is trying to process what's going on, and it's kind of taking away from that. And not to mention, it just seems, I don't know, it's good. It's really, really, really good. I even say it's great, but it's not phenomenal. And, like, for me to give something a 7 out of 7 is, like, God status. It's, I'm going to have this all the time. So, this doesn't mean that the coffee is bad. Not by any means. All that I'm saying is I wouldn't have it all the time. It would be one of those coffees where I'm sitting down and maybe it's a cold winter evening and I've got friends over and we're playing board games or something playing Cards Against Humanity, or hell, D&D &D for that matter. I was around playing Dungeons and Dragons. I throw some of this on to help note the special occasion that it's not the norm of my everyday evening or my everyday morning. So I'd say that this is a specialty coffee. It's, it's great. It's really, really, really good, but it's not something that I'm going to be crazy over. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. All the recommendations. You should have it at least once. But it just doesn't have that wow factor that makes me like, this is fucking good! It's really, really, really good, but I'm not like, this shit is fantastic! So, 6 out of 7. Which is still a really fucking good score. Anything above four and a half is a good score. That was my review for First Person Smoother by Player One Coffee. Now, again, six out of seven. It hit all the checkpoints. It just had that small little thing that was just slightly not perfect. It was good. It was great. wasn't perfect. But it... That picture, that art is amazing, the packaging itself is really good, it definitely holds in flavor, the scent was, everything was great about it, it just didn't give me that super duper holy shit wow factor. Six out of seven, there you go, what do you think, have you had this particular blend before, do you agree with me, do you disagree with me, what is your opinion, let me know in the comments below, if you liked what I had to say, or if you just liked this video and the production in general, even if you didn't like what I had to say, please, please, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this kind of content, go and subscribe to my channel, because this is definitely more of the stuff that I am leaning toward in the future. If you're new to the channel, this is the first video you've ever, you've ever seen, go check out some of my other videos. I have a playlist called Jaquel's Personal Favorites, or is it just Jaquel's Favorites? Ah, something like that. I'll put it at the end screen. Regardless, even if you do nothing about this video, thank you for giving me your time and watching. Until next time, much love, peace out, namaste, and goodbye. Oh, oh, real quick.
the next video, the next review, is going to be God's Gift to Gamers. Stay tuned for that one. Peace.